Why has God given us such a king? Now, this is what Isaiah says in chapter 9, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. The, the Lord God has determined to do this because of His zeal. What do you mean zeal? Passion. Let me give you even a better word, love. This is all based on this great truth. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. He gave us not just a baby in a manger, He gave us this great King. The wonder of a counselor, the mighty God, the eternal Father, the King of peace to rule over us forever and ever. This kingdom is offered to you if you will but confess Jesus as Savior and Lord, if you will acknowledge that He died on the cross as a substitute for sinners, rose again having justified those who put their faith in Him, if you will confess Him as your Lord and your King, you will now today be in His kingdom. And you will one day participate in the glory of that earthly rule and then spend forever and ever in the bliss and joy of eternal heaven. The question is, is He your King? The alternative is horrible being cast out of His presence forever in a place called hell where there is punishment and regret forever and ever. The message of Christmas is not just sentimental. It is a profound message of salvation. A king has come. Will you bend your knee and bow low and acknowledge His royal majesty and confess Him as your King and receive eternal blessing.